Let's get more on this and talk to uh, the journalist Mustafa Feitouri, um, who joins us now from Paris. Uh, Mustafa, uh, seven years since Gaddafi was killed. Since then, Libya has been torn apart by violence. Is there really no prospect of peace, no sign of reconciliation? Well, not not at the current situation. Not if we look at the uh, the current factors that prohibit or prevent actually the return of stability and peace to the country, they are still there. And uh, unfortunately, uh, even though I am quite optimistic, uh, I think it will it will take a little bit more. I expect not less than another five years. Uh, at the earliest, to have some kind of stability that could return to the country before we have a proper functioning country uh, in, uh, of Libya as it used to be. Most likely, it will be a little bit longer, unfortunately. Why has Libya descended into chaos and, and violence for so long after Gaddafi's death? Well, there are many reasons, uh, my friend. One of, one of them is uh, most likely, probably, is uh, the curse of Gaddafi himself. There was a great injustice uh, that had been done to the man, uh, uh, especially the way he was murdered. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is the foreign intervention. We have so many countries playing uh, hands in the, in, in, in the internal affairs of Libya. And those countries, uh, especially the superpowers, uh, specifically the United States, uh, the U.K. and France, uh, have not been really very serious about getting Libya a functioning proper state again. Uh, the other thing is the, 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 uh, the internal fighting that has been ignited them by foreign supporters. You know, we have uh, many, many regional countries besides the superpowers. That are, not, that are not satisfied that they have their kind of interests, if you like, secured with any certain one party uh, in, in, the, in the current conflict. So it's a, it's a kind of becoming a, a very proxy war, more or less. Uh, most, of it, most of it has nothing to do with the Libyans, just as was the, uh, the so-called revolution in 2011, which had very little to do with the majority of Libyans at the time. Yes. And how significant was uh, the role of those international forces uh, during the uprising in Libya? I mean, after all, they didn't intervene in any of the other uprisings in the region, but they did so in Libya. Why? Well, it was, uh, it was, it was. First of all, it was very significant role. It, it was the NATO-led uh, military bombardment of the country for over uh, seven months, from between February and October 2011, that really destroyed much of the country and its uh, infrastructure. As for your question, why there are very uh, specific reasons that have to do with the regime, uh, Gaddafi regime, and the Gaddafi personality himself. First of them, uh, first of all is the uh, country, Libya, is a, is a kind of a depot, if you like, for huge resources, specifically oil, and many uh, superpowers, including France, of course, are very interested in that. That's one thing. The other thing is uh, uh, the, 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 the country has not been aligned to the West or to the East, if you like, pre-Soviet uh, Union years. Uh, during Gaddafi era, was very much independent and uh, the, in, in a very strategic area. And uh, not so many countries, you know, not so many superpowers, if you like, the United States for one, and uh, the UK for two, and France, of course, three, are not very happy with that. Uh, the, the other reason, uh, well, the, the influence Gaddafi was having, especially, uh, especially over the last 10 years of his era, uh, in, in across Africa, the, the great respects and the great uh, 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 investments Libya has been doing in Africa, upgrading the economies uh, of many countries, and that, of course, did not uh, go well with the French, Mustafa. specifically in West Africa. So the, 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 there are many. Uh, re yes, please. Mustafa Faturi, Times Against Us, thank you very much indeed uh, for speaking to us. Much appreciated. Mustafa Faturi joins us from Paris. Thank you.